Hello my creative friends. Welcome to my third card in my butterfly series using the Wisteria Wonder Paper and the Papillon Potpourri. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. I have no idea how to pronounce it. I almost swore off doing any videos because I couldn't pronounce it and then I thought, well that's just silly. It's such a cute stamp set and I just love it. So I'm going to, here's my step one. And here's my step two. And for step three, it's actually going to use this as a base, but I'm gonna add a greeting. You may have noticed I don't have a greeting on either one of these. Your greeting could certainly go on the inside or just leave it as a blank card. These would make very nice gifts, gift sets of cards. Um, but without leaving a greeting, you can use it for whatever you want. Keep it in your stash for the next time a birthday comes up or a shower or you need a get well card or a sympathy card or just a thinking of you, hello friend. These cards will work for so many different things. So let's get on to card number three. For my greeting, I'm going to use a stamp set Blooming with Kindness and I'm gonna do Warmest Wishes on Your Birthday. Any one of these greetings would be beautiful on here. I've got my Wisteria Wonder ink and this is a one inch strip, one inch wide piece of Whisper White cardstock. Pretty, pretty. I'm just going to take my paper snips and trim a little bit off of one side. And then I'm going to make my banner or ribbon shape by just cutting in the middle and then cutting one side to the middle and then the other side to the middle. I find for me this is the easiest way to make a banner. My next step is to take some of these um, basic rhinestones that are on a strip and I'm just going to adhere them down. I'm not sure how many I need so Sorry. Here we have the same card base as our card number two. And if you want, you can go ahead and spray this with some more of that shimmer paint. before you attach it, but I think I like the way it's looking with just the bling from the rhinestones and it makes the bling of this or the sparkle in the background kind of pop out more. So take your dimensionals What I like to do is line up this side with the side down there towards the bottom and make sure it's even gently press and now for the butterfly I learn as I go and I learned with the last one that I did that it's easier to tie around these little butterflies if you have some have a mini glue dot behind it This will kind of hold your baker's twine or your linen thread in place. And this time I am using linen thread. All I'm doing here is wrapping it around twice and tying a double knot at the top.
Your last step will just be to take another glue dot or two and adhere it to the back of your butterfly and adhere that to the center. Here's my step three card. I hope you have enjoyed this series. If you have not seen the other cards, go ahead and head on over to my website, heatherscreativeblessings.blogspot.com. And if you're on my blog right now, just scroll back to older posts, and it should be the last two posts. And if you're on YouTube, go ahead and check the information box below my video and I will try and post the links to all three cards on that. I hope you've learned something today. I hope whichever your style is, whether it is very clean and simple, like the card one, or if it's stepped up to card two or card three. The fun thing about paper crafting is you can make things to fit your style and your taste or the style and taste of the car person you're making the cards for. I hope you find some time in your day to get a little bit creative. Bye!